Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mogimi and I'm Associate Professor of Clean Energy Technologies in Staffordshire University. I'm here for you to go uh, you through a tour uh, through the Fluid Mechanic Labs. So in the Fluid Mechanic Labs, we are dealing with whatever is called fluid uh, and uh, which in everyday uh, routines work we may deal with. And we have a couple of apertures to do some tests uh, with fluid mechanics. The first apparatus that we have, it is called hydrostatic bench. This uh, bench, it, it helps you to measure some basic fluid properties like viscosity, density, uh, and uh, with, the, uh, with the help of some uh, hydrometers, you, you would be able to take some uh, extra measurements uh, along with the temperature, uh, pressure, aesthetic pressure, or uh, dynamic pressure, and so on and so forth. And this stuff is quite useful for level three and level four as a fundamentals of fluid mechanics. Then we have this two-stage compressor test that uh, we mainly use for thermodynamic uh, concepts and with the help of these uh, apparatus, we test how the compressor works in two stages and how intercooling helps this system to get cooled down and improve, uh, improve the performance of the system, which mainly deals with uh, level four and level six for uh, thermodynamic purposes. Here, as you can see, we have a homemade apparatus that we made it uh, on site in Staffordshire. And with the help of this apparatus, we are going to check the pressure drop uh, through uh, uh, across a, a pipe. And we also check the minor and major uh, head losses through this uh, pipeline and it would be helpful to get used to these concepts, uh, which is quite uh, important to know about it, especially if you are working with the pipelines and piping system in future carrier. Okay, next uh, we have this apparatus here, uh, which this apparatus is uh, useful for evaporation system and HVAC system. And with the help of this apparatus, you get a feeling of uh, how to do some basic calculation, uh, calculation in, uh, regarding with HVAC and regarding with uh, cooling and heating of a room, which again, it would be useful in your future career if you wanna deal with these types of uh, stuff. Okay, next to me, uh, it is uh, another homemade apparatus that we made it uh, on campus and with the help of this apparatus you can see how you would be able to link and how you would be able to run a system of piping uh, and a system of uh, pumps to compensate the pressure drop in the, inside the piping lines and you would learn about the concepts of parallel, uh, running parallel pumps or uh, series pumps and how it affects the uh, eventual uh, pressure and pressure drop inside your system. It is a very cool experiment if again you would like to work in the maintenance area in future. Next to me there is a Reynolds Osborne apparatus. It is a uh, quite useful apparatus for showing you different fluid regime from laminar to turbulent, laminar transitional and turbulent. And this apparatus is just for sake of demonstration to get used to the concepts of uh, fluid regime from uh, laminar to turbulent. And then right at the back of the fluid mechanic lab, we have a couple of more apparatus. This apparatus is called the refrigeration cycle apparatus, uh, which includes compressor, evaporator, and a full uh, cycle of uh, refrigeration. And with the help of this cycle, you learn the concepts of uh, evaporation. And it, it is very useful for thermodynamic purposes, as well as if you, in future, you would like to work in the refrigeration uh, system and if you would like to uh, pursue your career in that field. And the stuff that you can see here, these are the Venturi apertures meter and with the help of this Venturi, you will see the effects of different shape uh, of connections and fittings inside the piping and how it affects the pressure drop inside the system. Could be useful for level three and level four. And eventually right here, you can see the Boyle's law apparatus that uh, we mainly use this uh, apparatus for working with uh, ideal gases concept and to learn about the ideal gas concept. This is another apparatus that we have in Staffordshire uh, Fluid Mechanic Labs and it is called wind tunnel. And in this wind tunnel, 
uh, we would be able to check uh, and do some measurements on the lift and drag of different shapes, different configurations, different geometries, as well as we can check the streamlines, the pressure drop across uh, different shapes and geometries and it is quite uh, popular for aerodynamic purposes and usually for aeronautical disciplines. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick tour of fluid mechanic labs. Uh, if you have any further inquiries regarding uh, what we discussed here or uh, regarding uh, the activities that we are doing on campus in Staffordshire University, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. We are here for you. And don't forget to follow us on uh, social media platform. We are looking forward to seeing you soon on campus.